to left center. He got under that ball. Half drifting back, though, near the wall, and it's out of here! That ball just kept on going. Pete Alonso with a rain-making 32nd home run of the year, a three-run shot, and it's 3-0 New York. He got under that one, but he clocked it, and that thing was a moonshot. Dave Kingman asked. Hard-working inning for Senga, and Hap lines one to left. In comes Ortega, reaches down, and he made the catch. Throw back to second, and Madrigal able to return. So Ortega, after having one fall in front of him, able to make the shoestring grab to retire Hap for the second out. Well, nice play right here by Ortega, and makes the catch. Rip right field and that'll bounce. Picked up by McNeil racing to the plate is Madrigal and Bellinger is knocked in a run with a single and it's 3-1. Tockman down to third. That's drilled to deep center field. Back goes Bellinger. He takes a look and it's out of here. Pete Alonso strikes again. His second of the night. Number 33 for Pete. A two home run, five RBI night for Alonzo, and it's five to one New York. Well, we haven't seen that in a while. Not a ballpark in Major League Baseball that can hold. Two in the inning and limits the damage to one run. And he's got himself a one, two, three, top of the fourth. Six strikeouts for Senga in the first four innings. On the planet. Line drive. That one falling down the left side. Fair ball base hit. Neat goes around third. He's in to score. Pap is in to third. And he falls off the base and he's out. He can't believe it. He just went a little too far. And obviously he knows he's got a slide there. Foul ball. Candelario. Oh boy. Oh! And he made the catch. And Jamer twisting and turning. The wind got it. Fighting the raindrops as well. And he made the play. And he lifts one toward the right field line. Overcomes McNeil. Looking through the raindrops. Stays with it. Side retired. A walk and one left. Six really good innings for Saints. is coming up. That's up and in. Ball four. And that forces it a run. Aroos picks up his first RBI as a bet. And it's six to two New York. Nimmo's 0 for three tonight. And he hits a double play ball right at corner. And the turn by Swanson, they get the double play, but in comes Mendick with the second run of the inning, and it's 7 to 2 New York. So a 4 6 3 double play, no RBI. In between innings, I was watching down there, and he only throws his warm up pitches about 25% oh. exertion. Oh, he oh, slipped. I mean, you, you, you got to stop the game. Yes, you have to stop the this game. Is the Bucks coming out here to take charge because he doesn't want to see his pitcher get hurt. Yep, he's taking him out of the game. He's not going to put him in harm's way. It's that simple. And here comes the tarp move. Oh my gosh. A rain delay before the top of the seventh can begin. And we'll see whether we can play now. The payoff coming to mend it. And he drives one to left field. Hap goes back. Warning track. Back at the wall. It's out of here. Danny Mendick with his first home run as a New York man to break this game open. Three run homer from Mendick. And it's 10 to 2 New York. Danny Mendick with the hour growing late has himself a milestone hit. His first home run is a met the 11th of his big league career. Five RBIs. And he drills that one to left field for a base hit. Around third, Alvarez, he'll come in to score. So there's the sixth RBI of the night for Alonzo, matching his career high. And it's 11 to 2. He threw a fastball here. <laughs> it's May the 7th. Pops it up along the left field line. Mendick out, McNeil in. McNeil makes the catch. Put it in the box. The Mets have ended their six-game losing streak as they take the opener of this three-game series from the Cubs.